When to quit? When should you quit? Sometimes it's good to quit. Welcome in. Athletes, basketball players, much love. And we're told that it's bad to be a quitter, but Michael Jordan won a three-peat, then quit. Went and played baseball for a little bit, then quit. <laughs> Came back, played basketball, another three-peat, quit again. And that's part of his legend is, he, I mean, maybe he didn't play his second coming out of retirement, right? But his third retirement. But he, for the most part, knew how to quit. Kobe Bryant as well. He had some really rough seasons at the end. And he kept going. And then how did he, how did he step out his last game? What did he score, 62 or something? Game-winning shot or game-winning fourth quarter. Uh, he, he knows he, that's it. He's done. He's not coming back, right? So the best players know how to quit. On the other hand, there's some guys who just, they hang on too long. So what, it, what does it mean to be good at quitting? And not just when you should quit end your career, because we're all going to have to do that, but when we should quit as a team, when we should quit a session, when we should quit a, a practice, a training session. So what we see from the, the players who seem to be good at quitting, they quit on a high note, not a low note. You win back to back to back, then you quit. You score 62, you walk off, right? It's not at the low moment when you hang on too long and you become a shadow of your former self and a shell. And you could say the same thing about a, a session, you know, for a team. Um, I mean, if it's just not working out, you might have to quit. <laughs> on a bad note, but then it just sucks because of, of recency bias. So there, there's a reason why we, we want to end on, on a high note, and right, not just for a career, but we obviously, ideally for a team, we have a good last game or a good last season. For a session, we end on a dunk, or we end on a made shot, always super important, or we end on a, a good quality rep. And a lot of the reason why is recency bias. The way the human brain works, we tend to remember the last thing that happened, the last part of a series scientifically. I don't remember Kobe Bryant's final game that he went, he was like three for 20 in the first half. No one remembers that. No one is going to remember that. That's not entirely accurate because I do, but that's because I studied recency bias. We remember, we don't, we might even know, but we don't care about it because we wait the end how, how his last shot went in and how the last quarter went for him, right? We even, perhaps Michael Jordan didn't, didn't quit <laughs> properly because we tend to remember his Wizards years, right? So he could have done that better. Um, and for the same for practice, if you end on a miss, you will remember that miss. If you end on a make, you will remember that make. So however you're quitting, whether it's your career, whether it is uh, a session, whether it is uh, a practice, whether it's a team, end on a high note, end on a make, walk off, remember that, remember that make. We're all going to have to quit eventually, so why not end on a high note on a make? Hope you found this useful. And no, I haven't quit basketball. But I've quit editing and uploading everything. And I quit on a high note in uh, playing in Spain, so <laughs> why, why continue, you know? This team is unfair for basketball. Part three is not going to happen. And it doesn't have to. So, um, yeah, I hope you found that useful. Let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> go, until, <laughs> go until it makes sense to quit on a high note. Much love. Let me know what you think in the comments. Take action.